friends, Pete the Drummer here, and today I'm in Hamburg, New Jersey to visit the remains and the ruins of the Union Waxed and Parchment Paper Company. Let's go check it out. All right, friends, so as I said, I am in Hamburg, New Jersey today. So I parked on uh, a side road off of Lime Kiln Road. I couldn't really find a clear path directly to the ruins. So from where I parked, I walked down the street, and then I was up there and kind of meandered through these uh, the woods and the foliage until I got to this train track. And then from the train track, you can see this path and the ruins just beyond. Uh, as soon as you come down that little path, you'll start to see some of the ruins. There's some foundation right there. And what's really cool is you can see right here, that was a rail line that used to pull up right to the side of the mill. So the story is this factory, when it was built, they built this dam and right here where I'm standing this used to be a water wheel that would spin with the current of the river to generate electricity we all know how that stuff works we've all seen stuff like that before check this out how cool is that all right, so by the way, this is the Wallkill River, and as I'm making my way over to the main part of the ruins, uh, I was reading an article in the New Jersey Herald written by the guy who runs Sussex County Excursions, one of my uh, favorite Facebook pages. The article doesn't really say anything much more than that the mill was completed in 1874. That's when it was in operation. It also says that there's a big steel wheel somewhere along the river, but I'm not seeing it. So right now, I am walking along what used to be the railroad tracks, as you can see, trying to make my way into the main part of the building, but there's all this water under here. And then there's little weird things like this. That's pretty strange. Wow, there's another doll over there. That's pretty creepy. Uh, I'll show you that in a second. I'm gonna continue this way and get onto solid ground and then I think I'll be able to swing back around into the building itself because as you can see, the ground here is all water. So I gotta figure out a way to get onto the ground and into the building. It's neat that this, uh, this rail track that I'm walking on is all moss covered. And this right there is a doll hanging from a noose. Someone is trying to scare people. There's the smokestack for the, uh, for the place. And there's another doll connected. <laughs> wow. All right, and this is a hell of a view right here too. All right, there is so much to see here. So I don't know what this thing was, but look right there. There's a, uh, a nutcracker tied to the top of that thing, whatever that is. I find it fascinating to think that this is, this stuff, that, those bricks, all this, this stuff was built in 1897. It's been here for 130 years. It's unbelievable. All right, so I made it. All right, so I made it across that stream, and then as soon as I came around to this other side of the smokestack, there's an entrance right there. But now I got to cross the stream again to get over to it. I might come back to that later, because now I'm on solid ground, and right in front of me 
uh, is the main part of the ruins. So I'm going to get some pictures first and then uh, I'll resume the video. So, obviously I don't know who's been doing it, but whoever's been leaving these dolls hanging all over the place, genius. I love it. Anyway, so I'm now across from the dam, and again, this dam was built around the time that the whole mill was built in order to power the mill. What's really interesting is to see water coming, like, flowing through the building but behind me is the main part of the building. So let's go in and check that out. I'm now in a section of the building that's right along the river. So if you look out these windows here, you can see the river is right there. What's also interesting is across the way, you can see all those ruins there. I mean, that's a huge wall of concrete. This right there was the bridge that connected these two buildings across, you know, over the river. I'm now standing right where that connecting bridge would have connected to, right here. And look at this. How cool is this? That's the steel wheel, half of it anyway. You can see the spokes, and you can see, you can just barely see like the curve, the curve of the wheel there. Uh, I did read in the article that there would have been two turbines somewhere on the grounds, powered by the water to provide electricity uh, and power for the whole plant. There is more ruins off in the woods there. Wow. This is... This place is extensive, to say the least. Oh, look, there's a... Oh, this is so cool. There's a concrete bridge across the river. I don't know if you can see it. We'll get there. But I'm going to be able to get over there. That's awesome. So now I'm walking along this wall here. Another pit in the ground. And now, oh, this is awesome. So now, I'm at this concrete bridge across the river, and that's gonna give me access to the other building. I am in heaven right now. This is so awesome. How's that look? Oh, that looks awesome. I gotta get pictures. I'll be right back. Alright, resuming video. Okay, so this is the building that's across the river. Look at all the windows blown out. Neat. And there's this cool concrete bridge here. Openings along the walls. I don't see any evidence of like stairs or anything, but I'm getting towards the end here. This looks like a pit. So let's see what's up this way. Huh, looks like this may have been a ramp or some kind of access. Nothing really down there. Looks like an old refrigerator. That's neat, whatever that is. I'm going to make my way back down, back across the river, 
and back to the main site of the uh, of the ruin. I'm now at what I think is the very north end of the ruins. And this platform here, that's that rail line that I was walking on at the very first, at the very beginning of the video. This, uh, this is all part of that line. It looks like this would have been where the train would have stopped picked up whatever cargo, gone back out the other way. Fascinating, man. Fascinating. I'm back now at the main building. And I haven't really shown you guys what's in this section over here. So this is the main part of the building. Here's the ground is all flowing water like this. And as it goes and winds this way and makes a right, there was that little waterfall I showed you before. Look at the size of this building. And then there's this big iron something or other. There's two like little spouts at the bottom. I think that would have been where stuff would have fallen through and collected. But I don't see any way for something to get underneath it like if there were an opening in that wall then I would think that maybe like a train would pull in they would dump their stuff whatever and then it would go back out but I don't see an opening there so I'm not really sure coming along this way trying not to step in the wet areas like this so like this whole section of the building in and in there, that's all underwater. So I can't really get there, unfortunately. But there's a better look at whatever that thing is. And just to the other side of this wall, you can just, through that opening, you can just make out those tracks that I was walking on at the very start of the video. So the train would have pulled up right along those tracks. Yeah, this place is seriously cool. But I'm actually winding down. So the next thing, the last thing I want to do is get into that smokestack that's right across from me. And, uh, and then we're going to wrap this one up because this is going to be a long one, I can tell. So stay tuned, hang on. Just made my way across this little bridge here. Oh yeah, this is easier. Oh, totally. All right. Here we go. This is the smokestack. Oh, you can't see up through it. There's nothing to see in here. <laughs> Damn it. I was hoping to be able to see all the way up to the top of the smokestack, but oh well. Anyway, it is pretty cool, though. Lots of graffiti. Let me flip the camera around. So yeah, lots of graffiti. Looks like someone was sleeping here. What a fascinating place. All right, folks, that's it. Hamburg, New Jersey. Coordinates down below in the description. Like, share, subscribe, hit that bell icon. Stay tuned till the next one.
go take a hike.